Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So in today's video, I've got something pretty special to share with you guys, and that's some more leaks on a brand new upcoming photography event that Rockstar Games will be adding into GTA 5 Online very, very soon. As I'm sure all of you guys were aware, with the recent Chop Shop DLC, not only did Rockstar Games add a brand new salvage business, a bunch of new vehicles, but they also added in animals exclusively for next gen consoles so of course that includes the ps5 and xbox series and it does look like with rockstar games adding these animals into free roam they will also be adding a brand new event based around the animals which like i said we're going to be taking a closer look at in today's video so as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so as i'm sure all of you guys are aware animals have been available in gta 5 story mode since the release however for some reason rockstar games decided not to add the animals into gta 5 online however recently with the chop shop update of course they released them exclusively for current gen consoles being ps5 and xbox series now it looks like rockstar games haven't added these animals into free roam just for the sake of it it looks like we will be receiving a new animal photography event in the near future so thanks to some of the most credible data miners in the gta 5 community we do know that everyone will be receiving this message in the coming weeks dear residents shoot animals photography is open for submissions as you may know san andreas has been placed in the bottom ranks of america's safest states but the ls taurus board has a plan a portfolio of wildlife photography to prove how peaceful our home really is so get out there and snap restful boars tranquil mountain lions and serene coyotes as they scavenge for scraps whatever the creature they're all equally beautiful according to our policy send us your best shots today from everyone in the ls taurus board family so as you guys just heard it looks like we will be receiving an animal photography challenge in the near future to help improve san andrea's reputation as the worst ranked state in america now for you gta veterans you will know in story mode we actually had something called a wild life photography challenge which was an exclusive side mission for franklin in the enhanced version for players returning from ps3 and xbox 360 completing this challenge would have rewarded players with the kraken submersible and the challenge in story mode is going to be different to the one we will be receiving obviously in online after completing the very first strangers and freaks mission for a character known as beverly you will receive a text message saying that he signed you up for the wildlife photography challenge at the same time you will receive an email from the ls taurus board who i spoke about earlier who will give you guys more details on the actual challenge itself which is most likely going to be similar to the one we're going to be receiving very soon in online so the animals must be photographed up close using snapmatic on the phone that should be obvious just like the ufo challenge that we received during halloween where we have to go ahead and photograph ufos daily and then go ahead and send them to omega it's going to be exactly the same with this animal challenge you'll have to go ahead photograph the animals and then send them over to the ls taurus board however they do also add that the animals must be centered in the frame so you can't get like just a deer's head with the majority of the picture shown a mountain the actual animal itself must be centered to the actual image and they do also state there must be no obstructions in the photograph and once photographed correctly just like i mentioned you, you will get prompted to go ahead and send the image over to the ls Taurus board now one thing to take note of and remember if you guys are going to be doing this challenge and some of the animals in gta 5 are pretty quick so if they start to flee and you don't get the picture in time don't kill the animals but instead use your stun gun because that won't kill the animal and you can still make your way up to it and photograph it while it's stunned 
So in total, there will be 20 different animals to photograph. You can track your progress under the general section of the stats menu. However, as you guys can see by the email that you're going to be receiving from the LS Taurus board in story mode, it is a completely different message to the one that was found by the data miners with the recent chop shop update. The email on the story mode wildlife challenge reads, You've been nominated to take part in Southern San Andreas Premier Amateur Photography Competition in the wildlife sector. You'll join hundreds of young, talented hopefuls in getting heat stroke, poison ivy poisoning, and most importantly, giving your work away for free. For the first young photographer to document the whole array of Southern San Andreas fauna, a life of underwater adventure and photography awaits. Submissions are subject to the following rules. Only photograph submissions of living animals will be accepted. Animals must be centered in the photograph. Photographs captured using camera filters or borders will not be eligible for submission. Selfies are not eligible for submission. All image rights are transferred to the tourist board. Make your own chum, fill your glands with mountain lion pheromones, rub yourself in honey and jack off in a bear pit. Do whatever it takes to get the shot of your life and try not to get eaten unless you've uploaded first. We can't wait to see and steal all of your submissions. Good luck, LS Tourist Info. So as you guys just heard, very, very different in the approach that we're gonna be getting with online compared to the single player mode. However, once all animals have been photographed, you will receive a text message from the Los Santos Tourist Board, which will say the following. The Southern San Andreas Taurus Board Young Amateur Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition is over. Some of our photographers fell off cliffs, a few got eaten by mountain lions, a couple overdosed on peyote, but only one of them sent us photos of all animals on our list and signed over the image rights without question. That young photographer was you. Congratulations, you have won a new limited edition Kraken Submersible. It's waiting at the jetty in the San Chiansky mountain range. It is clear to us here at the Taurus board that you possess a rare gift for capturing the living essence of animals in your photographic work. Since you've traversed the landmass of Southern San Andreas in your search for images for our calendars, stamps, and mouse mats, We'd love you to continue your adventure in the seas and we mean it when we say we can't wait to find new ways to take advantage of your talents in the future. Sincerely, everyone in the Southern San Andreas and Los Santos Taurus Board family. So of course, we do know that Rockstar Games do like to take a lot of inspiration with online events from single player as there is tons of different side missions, main missions and just random events that occur during the story mode. It only makes sense like I said that Rockstar Games went ahead and added an animal photography event into online seeing as we now do have animals in the game. I think it's safe to say we will be having animals with GTA 6 online straight away on launch. I can't see Rockstar Games holding back on adding animals with GTA 6 considering it is going to be based in Florida which is known for having some of the craziest wildlife and even pet owners in the world and of course even in the trailer we saw some crazy looking flamingos, crocodiles, alligators so it will be very very interesting to see how the mechanics will work on GTA 6 and I do want to give a massive shout out to ODC Kingdom for letting me use his gameplay of taking part in this challenge during story mode. However, that is going to do it for me guys. Some more leaks on an upcoming event that we should be seeing in the game very, very soon. As always, if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on because I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next video.